Hey everybody, it's Jay Tito with the Metabolic Effect. We wanted to talk to you today about a really important concept, and that is the concept of supplemental protein sources. So right off the bat, you know, what, one of the things I want to say is that really what we would prefer, and I think everyone would prefer in the health, fitness, and fat loss fields, is that we get our protein sources from food primarily. Lean, clean, animal proteins are the best quality and best uh, way to get protein in your diet. However, we live in a very fast-paced world. We need convenience options, and it's very difficult to cook all our meals at times. And this is where protein supplements can become key in the fat loss lifestyle. And so I want to cover these protein supplements for you a little bit and protein in general and how beneficial it can be. Whenever people usually think about diet, they normally tend to think about diet in terms of weight loss. And the weight loss game is something that really we should not be playing. Instead, we should be playing the fat loss game, two very different ways of approaching a body change. When you play the weight loss game, it's all about eating less. It's about eating less food. So it doesn't matter what you eat. You could be eating donuts or you could be eating chicken breasts. You should just eat less of them. But in the fat loss game, it's all about the quality of what you eat. And it's all about the idea behind what you put in your mouth will determine how hungry you are from meal to meal, what your cravings are like from meal to meal, and your stabilization of energy across the day, making you more or less likely to choose good foods that serve you or foods that don't serve you. And this is where protein comes in because protein is the most satiating food that is available to us. In other words, it makes us feel full the fastest and keeps us full for the longest. And so what that allows us to do is take some of the willpower around dieting and changing lifestyle out of the equation because we know that we cannot always overcome hunger. Hunger is a severe urge and compensatory reaction by the body that often leads us to eat too much of the wrong things. Protein helps us get a handle on hunger. Protein also helps us get a handle on cravings because a lot of the amino acids in protein can make some of the same brain chemicals that help us or make us crave things like salty foods or sugary foods or fatty foods. Protein can bolster these brain chemicals so we can really take hunger and cravings out of the equation. Also, usually when we're after fat loss, we oftentimes speak of reducing the carbohydrate content, which in some people can lead to falls in blood sugar. Protein, the amino acids in protein, can be made into blood sugar in a process called gluconeogenesis, which helps stabilize blood sugar. And so protein becomes one of the best and most useful supplemental approaches to body change. And so we always recommend protein sources and good quality powder protein sources in a fat loss lifestyle. Of those protein sources, you really have the animal types, primarily egg protein and whey protein, and then you have the plant-based types, which essentially are things like pea protein and rice protein, soy protein, and hemp proteins. I want to talk to you a little bit about first the animal forms of this. Egg and whey have an extremely high biological value, so they are very usable, absorbable, quality, full amino acid profiles in both whey and egg white protein. And so they are very important and useful uh, protein supplements. And the ones that we suggest are the best protein sources to be getting because of not just their high biological value and full amino acid spectrum, but also the fact that they have very high levels of the branch chain amino acids in them, which have an awful lot to do with the hunger effects, the craving effects, and the balanced energy effects of what protein deliver, plus a special uh, reaction in terms of helping us build lean muscle tissue, at least not losing tissue, muscle tissue when we're on a diet. So we really look at the whey proteins and egg proteins as being best. However, when you begin to combine some of the plant-based proteins, things like hemp combined with pea, combined with rice, in the same mixture, you can start to get some of the same beneficial effects that you would from whey and egg protein as well. So you're seeing a lot of these combination products come up on the market now as well. And these can be beneficial, especially when there's food allergies related to whey protein, which can sometimes be an issue for certain individuals. 
So at metabolic effect, one of the things we don't like to use a whole lot of is soy. And the reason we don't like to use a whole lot of soy protein powders is because soy can act as a weak estrogen and in high doses can lower testosterone. It also has some information that it may be negatively impacting thyroid. So we just like to avoid that whole issue and really stick to the whey proteins, the egg proteins, hemp protein, pea protein, and rice protein as the pro protein sources. So which should you be taking? Should you be doing a whey protein source, an egg protein source, or one of these uh, hemp, pea, rice-based protein sources? Well, it really depends on you. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, obviously you want to go to the pea, rice, and you know uh, hemp blends. One very good one in that regard is Vega Protein, V-E-G-A, is one of our favorites, and that is available over the counter. Great protein source, and what they have done is they've mixed hemp, pea, and rice together, and then added extra glutamine and extra branched chain amino acids in the sport version of that supplement, so it resembles more of what whey protein and egg protein look like. Then whey protein and egg protein are, are fairly similar. Whey protein slightly better. And so if you're allergic to whey protein but you're not a vegan or vegetarian, you may want to go to the rice proteins next. But the ideal form of protein for most people is going to be whey. It's going to be the most palatable protein source. Very high quality protein source. We offer one here at Metabolic Effect called The Meal. And what The Meal is, is it's really a very high potency a whey protein powder derived from pristine dairy herds that are fed nothing but grass, grass fed and pristine. And what I mean by pristine means is they're free from disease. They're not given hormones. They're not given antibiotics or anything like that. It's a very good quality of protein supplement. It also is processed in a specific way, different from most whey proteins on the market, low heat process to maintain those delicate immunoglobulins that are very healthy for our immune system in our gut. Our protein powder actually has those aminoglobulins in there to help immune function as well. It also comes along with a whole spectrum of vitamins and minerals, so it's a good meal replacement. It has the B vitamins, it has taurine in there, it has extra glutamine in there for uh, digestive help, and it has a good enzyme blend to help uh, with the little bit of lactose that's in there for those people who are lactose intolerant. So the meal is a great great uh, protein source and the one we recommend for most people. Those of you who are vegans and vegetarians, you may want to try uh, the Meal DF and the Meal DF really stands for dairy free. It is our vegan and vegetarian protein blend. Much like Vega, we add, it is a pea and rice blend, very palatable, berry flavor. We put enzymes on top of that and we also add extra glutamine in that formula as well as the B vitamins and other compounds in there. So that's a little bit about protein supplements, why they're so beneficial, and what we offer here at Metabolic Effect for our protein supplements.